Hey YouTube, today I am unboxing a uh, Samsung Story Station 3.0. And basically what it is, it's a t it's a 2 terabyte 2 terabyte uh, hard drive, external hard drive. And I'm going to be upgrading my home network to be using one of these to store files on, uh, namely my web server and uh, maybe some, you know, Xbox games, PC games, stuff like that, movies. Uh, two terabytes. It'll get me a lot of uh, a lot of room there. I've already used at least that much on my current PC, so I figured, you know, why not uh, kick it up a notch by the same amount? So, I ultimately had to choose between this, the so the Samsung Story Station 3.0. Uh, it uses 3. Point, uh, US USB 3.0. That's why it's called the 3.0. And uh, I ultimately decided this one over the verbatim something or other. I was gonna get a verbatim 2.0 zero terabyte with USB 3.0, but I want a Samsung because uh, I've never had a bad experience with a Samsung product. They've always given me uh, some of the best products out there. So I'm going to be, you know, unpackaging this here. Sony, uh, you know, or I mean, <laughs> not Sony. I was also looking at a, a Sony drive, so I keep thinking of that. Okay, Samsung Story Station 3.0. All right, let's get to the unboxing. Okay, so I'm going to be a little gentle with this just in case I have to redo the video again. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Hang on, let me adjust the camera a bit. Alright. Okay, so I got my thing right here. Okay, so obviously we got our wires here. I'm not going to go into detail on those. Uh, pretty standard stuff. Got your USB 3.0. The 3.0 is noticeable with the blue uh, heads. See? USB 3.0 cord, and I got our AC cable, of course, standard stuff, you know. Uh, oh, wait, now this is the cable, it's got a power brick. Okay, that's already a turn off for me, I don't like power bricks. Uh, I don't think I've ever expressed my dislike in a video before, but for the record, I don't like power bricks. So, you know, companies out there, if you're watching this, don't, don't do this, don't do this. <laughs> but, hey, uh, you know what, I, I can deal with it. It's Samsung, so, you know, superior product. Uh, next we got, ooh, cardboard. I love when it comes with this. Uh, manual, of course. And here comes the real thing. Alright, let's get this box out of the way. Got that styrofoam. And now we've got the drive itself, okay? Uh, it's, you know, not that big. That's uh, ratio kind of my hand versus the drive. I do have a large hand, so you know. Um, it is a. It looks like a horizontal drive. You set down like this. <clears throat> it's not a vertical drive. Uh, let me get these wires out of the way. All right. So yes, it is a. It is a horizontal drive. You do set it like this. <clears throat> Though I'm sure you can like. Put it up like this if you want to. Well, like that knob right there is going to stop you, but on the back, well, no, the wires, never mind, you can't. You could put it up like this, I guess. Uh, kind of depends on your preference, but, you know, I'm just going to have it like that. Anyways, let's go ahead and take this right out of its little baggie here. I always hate touching my fingers to this stuff when I first get it, you know, I want to keep the fingerprints off of it. Ooh, look at that. That is beautiful. It's like a it's like a slate. Yeah, let me get a uh, close in on this. All right. So we got our slate here. Fantastic. <clears throat> this I don't know if you can see it, but this is a really nice finish. It's metal. Uh, it's just you know normal metal. You got the Samsung logo right there, and uh, this is a really nice finish. I gotta say. <clears throat> couple screws, uh, nothing on the side parts, just, you know, a really, really nice finish there. And then you got a simple knob on the front. Okay, this thing obviously turns it off and on. <laughs> and I believe, I don't know what this other one is. Let me see. Uh, I, did any of you know what that is? There's like a little thing right there. Uh, hang on. Okay. Might be some type of power saver mode or uh, something like that. It's got a light bulb on it, so I don't know. I'll look it up in the manual later and uh, clue you guys in on the comments. All right. 
<clears throat> on the back. Now, this is something I don't really like, but, um, you know, it's fine, I guess. You see a non-standardized port. Uh, I believe... <clears throat> Damn, okay. I don't exactly know what the name of this port is. I forgot. Hang on. I think it says it. SS? SS port? Uh, I think, yeah, I guess it's called an SS port, because that's what it says right here. Alright, anyways, I don't know the exact name of this, but I don't like it when they put these ports on here, because, um, you know, if I were to lose this cord, I wouldn't be able to get a standard USB cord and plug it in there. Uh, I'd have to get one with this uh, type of uh, in port there. <clears throat> but yeah, that's the USB port right there. Well, out to USB, into SS or something like that. This is our AC port, obviously. And, uh, you know, there's not a lot of, uh, not a lot of outside, uh, you know, items to this, uh, to this, to this device. You know, there's not a lot of, uh, you know, notches or buttons or anything. There's no reset button. Uh, actually, you know, that might be a reset button. I don't think so, because it's, it's a drive, but, you know, that could be a reset button. I don't know. But anyways, <clears throat> the Samsung, I, I keep forgetting the name, Samsung Story Station 3.0 really non-catchy name in my opinion and uh yep that's that's all we got basically i mean it's usb 3.0 it's prepared for the future because it's usb 3.0 that's the newest usb standard i have it on my computer currently and uh <clears throat> it's got two terabytes of uh memory and uh, i believe the drive inside of it if you can kind of see it i believe it has a 7200 rpm write speed i'm not quite sure all right and uh I believe it released in uh, you know 2009 or something like that. I don't know when it released. I just bought it a couple days ago. So, anyways, I'll let you guys know how this went, how this uh, device works, and uh, you know if I have any problems with it or anything, I'll surely come to you guys. But you know, I think that's about it for the uh, review. But, um, yeah, here's the cord. You can see SS on it, and non-standardized port there. I'm sure it's standardized for these type of devices, but it's not standard as far as, like, USB. I wish it was just USB to USB, you know. And then the power brick. Uh, just from unboxing this thing, you know, the power brick and the SS uh, port together might make me knock off, like, 0.1 of a point on the full review. But we'll see how it works. I might just f forget about it and not knock that off. I, I might just be, you know, a little uh, stingy. Anyways, this is the... Once again, Samsung Story Station 3.0, 2 terabyte USB 3.0. And uh, I'm signing off now, and uh, I'll see you in my next video, I guess.